Action on Marvel teases vs. X Men and Avengers and Marvel Universe Black Panther Two and Black Panther Three. See what the Cosmic Bonus has to say about this and check this out. Uh, Marvel teases vs. X Men and Avengers and Marvel Universe Black Panther Three. Let's see what the Cosmic Bonus has to say about this and check this out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and we are finally getting some teases for the X-Men in the MCU. But not vague teases. We are actually getting specific teases about specific characters that could be coming sooner rather than later. And also, let me clarify this. We are talking about new X-Men characters, about new mutant characters coming to the MCU. Not older Fox X-Men characters coming from another universe or an older universe, because both of which seem to be happening, which we'll talk about in this video. But I am specifically talking about mutants in our actual MCU in the Earth-616, our main MCU timeline, universe. Marvel clearly has plans for mutants and the X-Men in the MCU. We've already seen little teases in Phase 4. Kamala Khan, although not a mutant in the comics, has been retconned in the MCU to indeed be a mutant. And then of course in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, we got Namor, who is a mutant in the comics and is confirmed to be a mutant in the MCU. And not only did he say that he was a mutant in the film, but Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, also said that he was indeed a mutant. However, these aren't really the traditional X-Men characters that we are used to seeing, and most fans really want a reboot and a new X-Men team to start forming in the MCU, much like the Avengers did starting with Iron Man. Well, thanks to a recent report from a Marvel Studios producer, it looks like we know some of the first two X-Men coming to the MCU. And these two that have been teased are Storm and Bishop. Two really great characters that I'm really looking forward to seeing in the MCU. And it does kind of look like Storm might be making her debut in Black Panther 3. Now, those of you who know Storm's relationship with Black Panther know that this is really, really exciting. It is a tiny bit tricky based off of what has happened in Wakanda Forever and the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman. However, the story I think we're about to get in Black Panther 3 should be pretty dang amazing. So let's dive into this report from producer Nate Moore. So producer Nate Moore for Marvel Studios has been a producer for Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, the Eternals, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and will be a producer for the new Captain America movie coming, New World Order. So doing an interview with Deadline about Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and when asked about what other black superheroes Nate Moore would like to bring to the MCU, he said, and I quote, There's no secret the X-Men are coming home. If you talk Storm and Bishop, they're two of the great characters in that franchise. And when asked about when we could expect them, he said, we're early early days on the reboot. And we kind of know this. Right now, we kind of know that Phase 7 is really when the X-Men are going to start coming to the MCU for real. So it seems like Black Panther 3 should be one of the first movies of Phase 7, and this is going to be one of the films that kicks off the X-Men, starting with, hopefully, Storm, based off of what producer Nate Moore said. Now, if you're curious about Black Panther 3, well, it's already been confirmed. Several people from Marvel have already stated they have ideas for the next movie. And, of course, the post credit scene for Wakanda Forever set up a future, not just for the franchise, but specifically a new Black Panther, a new T'Challa. And Letitia Wright, in a recent interview, has basically said that they are already working on Black Panther 3. When are we going to get Black Panther 3 greenlit? <laughs> works you know we just had uh, a terrific two years of of bringing it out and just everybody just coming together to support it we need a little bit of a break we need to regroup and ryan needs to get back you know into the lab so it's gonna take a while but really excited for you guys to see that this is really important for the future of the X-Men and mutants in the MCU. The reason being is that Storm, of course, is an X-Men. She is a mutant. And she has major ties to Black Panther because she marries him. If you're a comic book fan, you probably knew this. But for those of you who didn't know this, it's actually a really huge deal in the comics. Everybody comes together for their wedding. The Watcher himself even shows up, makes an appearance, is seen, which is a huge deal, and watches them get married. That's how big of a deal their marriage was. Now, sadly, they end up getting a divorce eventually. But the reason that they get a divorce could actually be one of the big Avengers-level movies that we will eventually get in the MCU, and that is the Avengers versus the X-Men. 
They get a divorce because of the Avengers vs. X-Men storyline, where Namor and the Phoenix Five flood Wakanda and basically destroy it. It's kind of what we saw in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So basically, Black Panther sides with the Avengers and Storm sides with the X-Men, and eventually, after the damage to Wakanda is done, Black Panther decides to get a divorce from Aurora, aka Storm. So one could see how Black Panther 3 could set up Storm and T'Challa, the son of King T'Challa. We know that the X-Men that are going to be coming to the MCU are going to be young. They're going to be around in the MCU for a very long time, hopefully 10 plus years. So the new ones coming in will be young, and I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of a time jump to where we see T'Challa grow up. And this is basically Marvel Studios' way of saying that they kind of did recast T'Challa, they just didn't do it yet out of respect to Chadwick. Now as far as X-Men and the MCU are concerned, like I mentioned, we are actually going to be seeing some older generations of X-Men appear in our main universe. I think most people know that this is entirely possible thanks to Avengers Secret Wars and thanks to the events of Loki and Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. The multiverse opens up limitless possibilities to see other variants, but there are two very important things that fans have been talking about recently that we definitely need to discuss. We've gotten some reports from some insiders like Grace Randolph stating that Avengers Secret Wars is kind of going to be Kevin Feige's goodbye to the older X-Men. For those of you who may not know, Kevin Feige started his Marvel career with the first X-Men film. He then went on to do Spider-Man, Daredevil, The Hulk, and many, many others until he eventually started the MCU. And now with the multiverse existing in the MCU and Avengers Secret Wars being all about the multiverse and different variants, he's going to be bringing the old original X-Men to the MCU in our main universe. And here they're going to fight alongside our team, our new Avengers team, our new Fantastic Four, and all of the other heroes that are going to be fighting against Kang and probably a lot of different Kang variants as well. This is important to note because before this we probably aren't going to get too many new X-Men characters introduced. Mm -hmm. We'll probably get some teases of some new characters, much like they did with Miss Marvel calling her a mutant, and the same for Namor. We'll probably get a few of those along the way. Then Kevin Feige will say goodbye to the original X-Men and Secret Wars, getting those characters into the MCU, which many of those actors say that they wish they got a chance to be a part of the MCU, because remember, it didn't exist all the way back in 2000. The connected cinematic universe wasn't a thing, so now they get their wish fulfilled. They get to be a part of it, say goodbye, but then Marvel basically gets to kind of start over a little bit with the universe and start fresh with a new group of superheroes, the X-Men and our new Fantastic Four team. So phase seven is really going to be the phase of mutants. The Avengers mm -hmm. might take the backseat for just a little bit. Of course, they're not going to go away. It still is the MCU. It's still a connected cinematic universe. You can't just say they're gone. But I do believe the focus is going to shift to the X-Men and to the Fantastic Four, which would be a very fresh thing for the MCU to do. And clearly, based off of what Nate Morris said, the X-Men are in their early days of development over at Marvel Studios right now. Now, which is great because even though Avengers Secret Wars is the next huge Avengers Endgame level event, of course Marvel Studios is looking even further past that into the future of the MCU, getting our new X-Men team ready to make their debut. Mm -hmm. And it's looking like Storm and Bishop are going to be some of the first X-Men, new X-Men, to enter the MCU. So let me know how excited you are about this in the comments down below. And also let me know what other X-Men you would like to see first enter the MCU when we get our first new X-Men team. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on the MCU. If you have Instagram and Twitter, be sure to give us a follow. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf. Please subscribe, like this video, and great morning. Please like this video, and I'll see you guys bye. So watch and see you guys bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and so watch and see you guys bye. Thank you guys for watching.